Hi friends, David here from Learn Stage Lighting and in this video we're starting a brand new channel here. I'm so excited. All about Onyx. It's all about learning Onyx, becoming better at Onyx. Uh, and there's a couple reasons, uh, I don't want to belabor it here because I want to teach, but a couple reasons why we wanted to do this were A, with the schedule we have over on the main channel, there's often not as much time to go into detail on some things in Onyx that I would love to go into. Granted, we have courses over at Learn Stage Lighting Labs that go through every section of Onyx and are kept up for every version of the software, but this is kind of a place to uh, go into things that are a little bit different than, than those courses cover. Things about applying to the consoles and just different techniques that we use, that I use in live shows, to use Onyx and be really effective with it. And then the other reason is over the past year or so, we've become dealers for gear. And now, uh, you know, we started uh, with a couple brands and now we're, you know, official full Elation Obsidian dealers. And uh, we would love, if you don't have a place that you love where you buy your gear from, we would love to be that place for you. Uh, we want to be fair. We want to take care of you. Um, and we want everybody to just have a smile on their face when they're done with things. So if you're in the U.S., if you need Onyx stuff or any lights, go to LearnStageLightingGear.com. You can submit a quote there and we will help you out because you got to buy your stuff somewhere. We'd love to be your dealer. Okay, today we're going to talk about this little window here that says default. Uh, if you're in the training show file like I am, it's on the sidebar here. If you're in, maybe you brought in an older show file that you're running on newer software, or whatever, and you don't have the view that says default, uh, it's easy to get. You can just right click or hold edit and press if you're on a console, unlock and edit, views, and then go find yourself one window called default, and it is, uh, it is under, we'll find it here real quick, I admit I don't add it often, because uh, it's in my show files already. Programmer, default, and it can either be its own window or, as I like, a pop-up. Okay? Awesome. Once you've done that, you can go ahead, press the back arrow, and now you have the default, just like I do. Lock your workspace again, etc. So the default can let us do some really cool stuff here. Okay? Um, the first thing it can do is put your lights in a default position. That's the name of it, right? So when you turn on your lights, for example, like we just look at our Artiste Da Vinci's here, we turn them on right to full, okay? There is a place that they go by default, right? That's called the default position. They're pointed straight down um, and, you know, they have no color, they have no zoom, no focus, whatever. But if you're in a venue that's permanently installed, if you're in a place where everything's the same every time, then you might want to, you know, have your default be actually pointed at the stage. And that can have a lot of advantages to it, uh, just because that means if you unplug the console or, you know, whatever, or even when you just start up, the lights don't go like swinging into place and everything just, if you clear everything, the light ends up pointing in a place that's, that's really helpful. So I do recommend doing this and it's really simple. Okay. You just go ahead, put the light where you want it to be. Okay, so maybe we want to do that on these lights. You do want to turn it off. Typically, you don't want the default to be in an on position. Um, and then if you want to put any color or anything in it that's there, if you would clear everything out in your console, you can do that. This is where the light will go when you first boot up the console. So that's another thing you can do. It's like, okay, I guess you could have it on and in a color and stuff if you literally wanted to boot up the console and go to that default, but I would rather... Uh, start a queue to do that and have it start at load uh, automatically at boot. But anywho, that's all you do. Move it, press record, go to default, press defaults, merge. Very important. If you hit replace, uh, fixtures will lose their default data and it's not a great thing. Um, we want them to stay in there, so we want to merge. Clear, clear. And now these lights, when we start up the show file, boom. They are in that spot pointing at the stage by default. Pretty cool. Uh, there's a lot you can do with that too. I would recommend, like if you find with a particular fixture, uh, maybe it's a, 
a mover like these, a spot mover or a wash. If you find you like to keep it more narrow or more wide than the default, which is just in the middle, then go do that, right? Maybe you do all the way wide so that uh, it's good for work lights. I don't know. So you could just do that again, turn the intensity off so that doesn't get stuck on. Record default, merge. Even if you go in here and you get the intensity stuck on. Let's do that, record default, merge. You go, oh no. Now they won't turn off unless, you know, when I clear everything, unless I go and turn them off. That's fine, just go record again, default, merge. Done, okay? Nice and easy. Now, highlight and low light is like the next level, okay? So you might be familiar with highlight. If you select some lights and turn them on, they all highlight, and it looks like they've put a highlight preset into the show file. I wasn't aware of that. And then as you hit next, you go through all your lights and, and one at a time. And, and this can be helpful, especially you go to one, you move the pan and tilt a little to build a, to build a preset, right? Um, and then you move the next one, you move the next one. Um, but, you know, I don't love the default highlight. Because when I hit next and I get off that light, it's like, okay, I've got all 10 or 11 of these lights select. I think there's 11. But only one is active. And so the rest just shut off. You know, I would like it if all the selected ones were one color and the one that's on was a different color. That's easy to do. Okay. All you do, turn off highlight. Um, go ahead. Make them do what you want when they highlight, okay? So select all of them, like I didn't do. Boom. Say I want them to do that. Say I'm trying, I've got a big rig and I've got a lot of lights, and I want to make sure I really see this light exactly what I'm focusing in. Maybe I want to narrow it in all the way, okay? And so then I would record, default, boom, highlight. There's the factory default one, you can't write over that. But you have four, you can literally set up four to no, five different highlight and low light presets. So this is going to be my highlight one, okay? So boom, all we did was hit record. Once again, hit that highlight preset, merge. Same as the default. Then for the low light, okay? Let's bring in cyan because I don't want them to get too dark. I still want the light to be there. So I could do like a color mix deep blue, but that feels like a bit much to me. And maybe... Now I think I'll leave the uh, I'll leave the low light uh, zoom the same. Sorry, I lost my word there. Record low light and and I guess I didn't have to merge because it was the first time I did it. Sorry about that that brain slip. But if you do it a second time, you'll you'll hit merge. Okay. So then clear, select them, highlight, hit next. Boom. Is your mind blown yet? If so, subscribe here to our channel. We thank you for subscribing. It's a new channel. We need all the help we can get. And also, if you need any gear, especially Onyx consoles, but any lights, let us know. Head over to LearnStageLightingGear.com. Go shopping. Uh, if you have any questions about anything, you can contact us through the site. We can quote out exactly what you need. If you don't know what you need, but you know what you want to do, let us know, and we'll let you know. Thank you so much for watching. I'm David from Learn Stage Lighting. Have a great day.